So I've said for a while now that Harvard and Yale are those two Ivy League schools you should be le leery of. I mean, you shouldn't be going to them at all. There's nothing good out of them. But uh, what's especially bad is that everybody that's in any kind of the science and has been uh, that are communist globalists. Again, communism is globalism is communism on a global scale, meaning the entire world in communist uh, lockdown and control. Um, communist is not a political party. It's just a genocidal track. That's all it is. Um, and most of your professors in America and basically probably around the world are for, they wouldn't say it. They wouldn't because they know it's not accepted because it's a sadist political movement. That's what it is. Because it always uses socialism to get there because that's there is no such thing as socialism and it always leads to genocide always because it, you know who most falls for your communist stuff is your intellectuals you're overeducated because they think that they're so smart and this is what's best and we're going to believe that abortion is somehow about a woman's right to choose when really if I bothered to look on PubMed I would see back in the 80s and 90s that the PubMed science was saying that it was about population control. Yes, it's not about your reproductive health. It's in their papers, quote, without the widespread use of abortion, population control will not be possible, end quote. PubMed, it's a 1980s uh, paper in regards to abortion. There's so many of them. That's what it's about. It eventually always leads to the intellectuals deciding who's worthy enough to live. They're doing this in Canada with the um, MAID. MAID is the acronym for um, Medical Assisted in Dying. Medical Assistance in Dying. But it's not for people dying. They're doing it on mental health people. They're, if they're suicidal, they're asking them, would you like us to help you, assist you in your suicide? Seriously, it is. Look it up if you don't believe me. I think most people awake know that. It's made the mainstream. But they're going to be, and I think they're going to be, or they want to move it to do it on children. So these are globalists. This is what Trump warned about, is the globalists. So it's, China's not the problem, Russia. It's the globalists that are behind them that are in every country, your, these are your corrupt people, Many, all, all of them leaders of the countries. Um, I would say except for Russia probably, maybe some more, but no, I think that's probably it. Um, but they're, it, it's, these are your globalists, they're like your Bill Gates. So this was a Yale professor that said this back in 2021, and this was in the New York Times uh, yesterday, or today, yesterday. Um, he said, uh, and I want to sh just listen to how stupid these professors are. Like I've said, they have no common sense because they don't. Something happens to them. There's a reason all these professors think the same way, okay? And then your kids go into these universities and uh, they come out. Do they come out normal? I don't know. I, here's my suggestion. This is a solution. Uh, one that should definitely be enacted into law immediately with the next president is that no child should be allowed to go on hormones or change their genders or any of that until at least the age 21. That should be put into law. We don't let kids drink till 21. That's an easy one. And that should go the same. The, the kids shouldn't have to go off to military, the military, or go off to war at 18 when they can't drink till they're 21. But your military industrial complex was okay with that. So that should be changed. But so those two things should definitely change. But here's one that people should consider that kids that graduate from high school, they maybe shouldn't go to the universities until they're 21. Maybe they should just get a job for a few years, do, do something else, travel. I don't know. Until their frontal lobe, too, is is fully formed so that they can be having more balanced perspective because so many of these these kids come out of these universities and they have no heart like there's. There's people that have outrage over this Yale professor suggesting that the elderly in Japan, um, that there be a mass suicide done to them because there are too much resources on the state. Yeah, that's the same. That's the reason for abortion, too, by the way. That's what population control is all about. We don't want more people that are taking resources away. And do you know what people that promote that stuff or believe that stuff? They're the most self-centered psychopaths ever. So do you want your kid coming out of these universities like that? No. And yet all the professors seem to be in that same mindset. They do. I haven't seen any that aren't. 
They just don't say they're communists. But every, that's the reason why they're the ones that have been destroying our country. And all these kids that come out of the university, they're so selfish. They don't want to have to do anything for anybody else. There's people on board with this. Because I don't want to take care of somebody. Like, that's just, that's like not, that's not growing. That's not maturing emotionally in any way. So if you want your kid to become more um, unbalanced, send them to the university. And I would definitely not send any kid to Yale or Harvard. There's just something, I, all these people come from there. Robert McNamara that I mentioned last night that was Secretary of Defense under uh, Johnson and Kennedy, um, he was a globalist, totally, was about population control, praised India because of addressing their population problem with forced sterilization. Yeah, so... And they all seem to be leading things, and your professors all st are on board with that. So he actually made this this comment regarding this mass suicide. And this is this is how stupid stupid that I say. This is why I say the professors are stupid. Quote regarding mass suicide: whether that's a good thing or not, that's a more difficult question to answer. Whether that's a good thing or not is a more difficult question to answer. No, 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 it's not. It's very it's a very easy question to answer if you're not not somebody that's uh, um, a psychopath. Yeah. So see, that's that's what professor. So I keep saying Yale and Harvard. Pay attention to Yale and Harvard. Um, but this shouldn't be a surprise. This was uh, even in our own government. This stuff. Um, this Obamacare. One of the concerns, and people thought it was being overreacting, but really it wasn't. It's just that it may have seemed that way back then. They talked about these death panels, but there's a reason that Rahm Emanuel, who was in uh, Obama's administration, his brother Ezekiel Emanuel, had um, said that. Well, when I turn 75, I don't want to be a burden on the state anymore. I don't have to go. Through for extra therapies. I just I go way to pasture. You know why he's saying that? Because that's how they condition you. They slowly condition you. And you may say, nobody can condition me. Oh, yes, they can. They've conditioned a whole bunch of people in America to think that abortion was about a woman's reproductive rights, please. None of their papers talk about it. Maybe they do uh, later, but if you go to the uh, any of their papers on pub in PubMed in the 80s on abortion, it says, without the widespread use of abortion, population control is not possible. That's what it is. It's all about, they just have to trick you into it. So um, uh, Ezekiel Emanuel was saying that stuff because it's a way to start conditioning people. They slowly condition you, introduce these things, see how it goes over. If you're accepting it, they'll push it a little bit more. If you're not, they'll wait a little while, then reintroduce it. These are communists. So those anybody who pushes universal health care or Medicare for all realize they are either not bright in their head and they don't realize that they're going along with a communist agenda while calling it socialism, or they are outright communism. Who were your communists and what did communism lead to? Communism every time in history leads to genocide. It does because it's always your intellectuals that get on board with that. All the people that have all those letters after their, their name that think that they know best and they know which population, portions of the population uh, should still be allowed to live. That's always what it, because the intellectuals jump on board with communism. They do. Lenin, um, Hitler, Stalin, and your intellectuals always get on board. What do you see taking place right now? Who are the people that are pushing Medicare for all and universal health care, nurse, nursing associations, medical associations, nursing unions pushing that? All overly educated fools. Not understanding that, you know, it's not a good idea to repeat history. Um, it's part of this collective. That's part of what is a, a, a communism is about. That's why it's always a red flag to me and probably why I'm not a grouper. Is because it's about we do this for the whole. You're no longer an individual. You do this for the whole. And you, they make it sound like this is something good. It's not. And what it always, always leads to is um, genocide. It does. And, and now this is, this is actually something that's being discussed because of this professor. Now it will never happen here. The American people would rise up and, I mean, really just go off about this stuff. Because that, then you're, you've already reached your Hitler stages. But do you recognize who God's trying to show you are the biggest fools? You're most educated because they don't have a clue what's going on around them. So...
They're not experts. 